Epstein's anomaly. Okay, guys. So let's start a discussion on this. So the Epstein anomaly. Let me draw a diagram and explain you how exactly it looks like. Okay. So here is if this is a pulmonary artery. Okay, this is a pulmonary artery. Okay, and this is what you call a that's a mitre tricuspid wall. This is a tricuspid wall. Okay, and this is a septum. This is a right ventricle. Okay, this is a tricuspid wall. TRV tricuspid wall, and this is a pulmonary artery, and this is right atrium so from the diagram it's clear that the tricuspid wall is displaced epically in the right ventricle so you can see over here and there towards the right ventricle and causing obstruction to the pulmonary artery and there is a less space for the blood in the to stay in a right ventricle also so the wall leaflets are redundant and, and plastered against the ventricle walls okay so hence it looks as if there is a pulmonary atresia. So no blood to the lungs via what you call through the pulmonary artery. Right? And the right atrium is really very big. Okay. So these are the things that you see in absence anomaly. Okay. So really very important thing that you should know about. Okay. The, the epidemiology, the patients without, if uh, not treated within six months, they can develop just to heart failure okay and the mortality is really very high okay if there is what you call um, the patient may complain of dyspnea if it's an older patient they will have a dyspnea cyanosis why cyanosis cyanosis is because there's a mixing of deoxygenated blood to, to the oxygenated because of this pulmonary atresia, big right atrium. Okay? Right? Yes. And the patient can experience palpitation. Okay? So, on hearing, on hearing the murmur, the, there will be widely split widely split S1 fixed split S2 why because of the pulmonary stenosis right and a variable S3 and S4 okay right and there can be a holosystolic murmur at left lower sternal border left lower sternal border okay and they can be an opening snap too opening snap too okay and as i said there is a sinusis because of the shifting from the blood from right to left shunt okay right so what's the diagnosis what's the ekg shows The EKG shows right axis deviation because of the right atrial enlargement, right axis deviation, okay, and the right atrial enlargement, right bundle branch block RBBB, and in these patients, Wolf Parkinson's white syndrome is present in 20% of the patient, okay, and why the chest X-ray demonstrates is a cardiomegaly cardio cardiomegaly remember okay and there is a wall to wall heart 
wall to wall heart okay right and so what's that that diagnostic test of choice is echo okay guys so what's the treatment for this is the gland procedure management is by gland procedure to increase the pulmonary blood flow okay and sometimes patient can need if there's a severe cyanosis aortopulmonary shunt can be there okay and they can be a tricuspid replacement you heard right so right right atrial reduction surgery so there are so many things can be done but for example first remember what's the Epstein anomaly is and what are the signs and symptoms thank you so much for watching this video take care